these are just some of the more than one million engravings at Morajuga. They are the beginning of song lines and creation stories for further afield. While research is underway to date the collection, it's believed some could be more than 40,000 years old. We have um, RTL animal that have, that have, uh, have long been extinct, like the Tasmanian tiger and the um, fat tail um, kangaroo that lived on the Barrett region tens of thousands of years ago. Last year, the area was placed on the tentative World Heritage List, with work continuing on the nomination. It's been a long one for our our, our circle of elders. It's been something that we've always aspired to. But others are concerned the nomination could be put into jeopardy. There is more industry going out onto the borough. I am deeply concerned that this might impede uh, UNESCO determining a World Heritage listing for the area. The engravings have sat alongside big business for decades, including iron ore export, LNG production, as well as an ammonia fertiliser plant. Retired CSIRO scientist Dr John Black says there's already evidence to show emissions from industry in the area are impacting the rock. So long as these emissions that form acid continue on the borough, this outer patina, which is absolutely essential for, for, for maintenance of the, of, of the petroglyphs, Will, uh, will dissolve. Because it's slowly being degraded, uh, it's not seen to be so urgent. But some say the jury is still out. So it's a scenic and an aesthetic impact on uh, the cultural values and the cultural landscape values. I don't know if the science is showing that there's actually impact. I don't think it's been demonstrated at this point that, there, that, that the art is deteriorating and has deteriorated in the last 30 years. An EPA cumulative emission study is expected soon. While it's still years away from any results, a monitoring program has been set up under the Murujuga Rock Art Strategy. The Murujuga Corporation CEO says he hopes it will help in discussions to mitigate any risks in the future. I think we'll provide the scientific evidence uh, to prove, you know, beyond reasonable doubt that, you know, emissions are affecting our magnificent cultural heritage here on the borough.